What's up guys, this is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. I got a 1997 anniversary edition Camaro with a LT1 5.7. This is the 30th anniversary, it's written all over the car. This is a very well taken care of car here. Uh, the test drive went perfect, couldn't find many flaws at all. I'm gonna walk around the outside of this car. If you wanna see that test drive, just type in 1997 Camaro Maple Motors in the YouTube search bar and it'll pop up the test drive and this walk around. Or just wait to the end of this video and you can click a link that'll send you straight there. Car's very straight, clean title. Let's get the white wheels to match. Lines are very straight. It's not gonna be a whole lot of flaws. I'm sure there'd be chips in the paint, uh, but we're gonna start up here in the front. Trying to block the sun, sorry about my hand. Looking around this front end here. Very little wear. They did have a tag on here before you could see the bottom part of the tag and where the top, well, tag wasn't up here, but it looks like they rubbed on the nose a little too hard, don't they? There's the bolts for the tag though. Still nicely clean looking. You got your uh, fog lights down there in the bumper. 97 back had the little slots for the headlights 98 and up went to the round bubbly headlights stripes are in good condition i don't see a whole lot of spots in them there's a little dimple from underneath the hood it looks like they left a bolt under there or something Car's pretty clean. Like I said, this was well taken care of. You can tell it hasn't been dog or anything. It's I'm sure they went out and played. Nice set of tires all the way around. There's not a ton of rock chips back here from burnout, stuff like that. A lot of these cars were put through it when they came out. Very light in the back end. T tops, they don't leak. I'm gonna pop the trunk and see if they got the covers. There was covers that came factory with these that went up in the tops. These were one of my favorite cars through high school. I was addicted to them. I had a few of them. They were, I wouldn't mind having another one nowadays. Bumper gets a little dirty back here. Every time you wash them, it's like dirt's up in here and it always comes back. I used to carry a chamois around with me for that reason. Does have the defrost in the back window. You can see a little bit of spider webbing going on back here. These are the plastic bumpers. It was a very common thing. Dual exhaust for the rectangle pipes or tips. Let me get a shadow out of here. Looks like they used a little touch up paint, probably where they were trying to get in may have scratched it touch that up all right made our way around the car i'm gonna go ahead and pop the hood and pop the trunk we can walk around the rest of the outside your hood's right here trunk's right here push the button it opens it does have the white interior the anniversary interior with the uh, 30th in the seats. I want to see if them covers are back here. Oh, it's got a nose cover. It's for the front end, keep chips. It probably had that on there. That's why it was so clean up front. Uh, they installed the 30th anniversary pad back here that's pretty cool 
there's always a little spot back here for your jack they make a subwoofer that goes right in there it's like a little hideaway one trunk seals are in great shape nice and clean all the way up through the jams all right trunk shuts nice and easy go ahead and open the hood i just popped it from the inside there reach up under here i want to look and see where that dimple came from looks like something round was sitting on it i don't even see it down here they must have left it there it's like they had two of them well it's there now and it ain't there anymore so i'm gonna look around this is a 5.7 lt1 it's got uh, everything hooked up i did hear the compressor kicking on for the ac off and on i think it does need to be recharged there was a little pulley down here like the pulley right up under the alternator right there and it was squeaking a little bit when i started it and by the end of the test drive it quietened down i don't know the car's been off for about 10 15 minutes now so we'll see if it starts squeaking again i'm sure it will but i want to let you know everything about it so let's check the interior out now they uh did pretty good at preserving this car for being a 97 model it's like the trim's pulling away just a little bit there not a big issue everything looks nice and clean all the uh power windows power locks all that stuff works well it won't let me lock with the door and the keys in it you heard it dinging i'm gonna go ahead and cut that off because man those are annoying we'll just get in here and start it right up how about that heard it squeak a little bit when i started it you can check your gauges out it's got a hundred thousand miles on it well let's see that thing was just on there it goes let's see if i can block the sun again 106 on the miles very low miles all the gauges work pretty accurate let's see if i can block the sun again i'm sorry guys i'm ruining it right now Once you start driving, temperature pulls back to 180. It's not overheating by any means. Inside here, you look across the dash. This is a common thing that happened on these because they're so thin. Look how thin that dash is. But they always got cracks from the sun, these big front windshields. I see a lot, there's a lot of covers uh, and new dashes on the line that you could get pretty cheap. So looking around the car, the seats are in good condition. I do have the face to the radio. If you, I don't let y'all hear the compressor kick on, but it's blowing nice and hard. It's not super cold right now. Like I said, I think it needs to be recharged. Windshield wipers do work. Right there, there's a tilt right behind it. Horn works. You got your uh, fog lights right there you can cut on and off. Normally these consoles have a big arm den in it. This one's in good shape. y'all see the driver's seat why it's hard to keep clean t-tops are in good condition the carpet's nice and dry it hasn't been getting rained in 30th anniversary mat still in here and the carpet's in great condition really Like I said, these door locks do work. Power windows, they work as well. Even the mirrors move. Well, I'm gonna roll down the window. We're gonna conclude this video here in a minute. Do my last little walk here. See if this squeaks. Yeah, hey, you hear that? giving a little noise up there it's a bearing and a pulley
Nice quiet motor. All right, guys, this is going to conclude my video. I appreciate y'all watching. If you have any other questions, jump on my website, maplemotors.com. I got 100 detailed pictures of this car and every car on the lot. Like I said at the beginning, I just got back from a test drive, so check that out. Car runs and drives great. If you want to talk to somebody on the phone, give us a call, 615-822-4444. Please subscribe, please share, and thank you very much for watching these videos. Y'all have a good day.